Okay, we're going to look at independent and dependent variables in problems and on graphs. First, let's review a couple of definitions. An independent variable is a value that stands on its own. It is not dependent on the value of another variable. It is the variable that is manipulated. For example, Donald gets paid $5 for every hour he works. Every hour he works is your independent variable. Dependent variable is a value which is dependent on the value of another variable. For example, how much Donald will earn at a rate of $5 per hour is the dependent is dependent on how many hours he actually works. In this problem, we read that Mrs. Charleston is correcting math papers, and she gets 35 of them corrected in two and a half hours. Question is, at this rate, how many math tests will she have corrected in six hours? We can figure out her rate per hour, and then we'll look at the data. The variable that is being changed is the number of hours Mrs. Charleston spends correcting math tests. Since the time she spends is not dependent on the number of math tests she has to correct, time is the independent variable. So as she corrects more and more, or she spends more and more time correcting math papers, she gets more of them corrected. So at two and a half hours, 35 math tests corrected, that means she's correcting about 14 per hour. So we could graph this and we would see that in six hours, she would have 14 times six math tests corrected. That would be 84 math tests. That's a lot of papers to correct. Now look at this table. Which one of the columns would you say is the dependent variable? What values depend on the other values, on the independent values? Well, we calculate the rate, the price per helmet, ends up being $15.10 because you have two helmets sold at $30.20 for a total price. So if I divide that in half, I get $15.10. If I multiply $15.10 times 5, I get $75.50, and, and so on. So the rate is the same. It's $15.10 per helmet. So the total price is dependent on the number of bicycle helmets sold. Which one of the axes X or Y would you say is the independent variable? When you look at the graph, you can see that the time in hours is on the X axis and the distance traveled in miles is on the Y axis. Well, how far you travel is dependent on how long you're traveling. So therefore, the time in hours is your independent variable, and that's on the x-axis. Okay, well that ends this brief video on independent and dependent variables in graphs and problems. Enjoy the activity.